Oh, welcome back, guys, to another match three weekly technicals. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and head over to the free Telegram group. Links are all down below. So we'll jump into British pound, US dollar. So if we have a look on the monthly, we're still nice clean bullish structure on the monthly. We see this area that we mentioned on the previous week technicals. We had this monthly structure point. That we were seeing a we were seeing price was just starting to break through it and we were mentioning if we broke and held support at this area then we potentially see a big move to the upside which is exactly what we've seen happen so nice uh, nice bullish structure on the monthly so we go down into the weekly so again looks very nice clean structure on the uh, gnu at the minute we've seen this area up here Broke through, it was this higher high. Didn't manage to hold that as support, but we've come down, retested this monthly structure point, which is nice, clean to be tested that area before we've seen all of these areas break. So once we established support around that monthly structure point, and then we broke to the upside. So we've also got this area, this previous monthly structure. So we mentioned price could potentially trade between these two structure points but like you say we've had this nice tap this area perfect tap this monthly structure point we were mentioning before taking off and absolutely ripping up through this previous area that we've established some resistance around 1.25250 once we've seen the closure above on this previous week we've seen it. obviously this is the area we were mentioning in our previous technicals we were saying the price had just broken and closed above for that week on above the monthly structure point so we were mentioning that if price could establish support at the, that area then we could see this big move which has occurred so you can see previous week closure above that monthly structure point and then if we go down what day was it yeah so this is where we see of our previous Three weekly technicals, we had closure just above that area. So price has opened up, pulled back into this area, grabbed the liquidity around 1.25 area for breaking this previous structure that it's made on the daily and then making this massive move to the upside. So once once we broke above this monthly structure point and we broke above this daily structure point and this previous weekly structure point as well. So we had a lot of compliments just to take a trade there. So yeah, so when we see our weekly structure point here, so when we've seen our weekly structure point here, which aligns with our daily structure points over here, and then obviously we've got this daily structure point, but once we've seen this area around 1.26, 1.26, 400 quality, once we've seen that area break, we've seen a lot of buying, a lot of buying pressure coming to the market. So we're nice. Clear bullish structure on the daily. See this previous higher, higher low, and then we've absolutely ripped through all these previous zones. So I'm expecting a retest of 1.26800 area. So if we go down to four hour, yeah, so let's go back to the daily. So we see this area of consolidation where we broke down, and then we once we've broken through this area, this is where we've seen this move, this move to the upside. I like to see a retracement into 1.26500. So yeah, I'm expecting price to give us this retracement back into by the, the 1.26800 area before taking longs or potentially into somewhere around this area, 1.26. So just paying attention to this area of value around you say 1.26 to 1.26800 so i'll be looking on price to come back establish support around this area before taking longs up up into second so if we see here if we get if price does give us this retracement back into this area where we see uh, resistance established and I can, like you can see here, once we had resistance established, we've seen a, a big pullback 
back into that range. So if we do get a retest of 1.26500 area, I'll be looking on taking long back up into 1.28250 area, which gives us around 180 pip move. So once again, head over to the free Telegram group. Links down below where we update our weekly technicals through the week. Uh, but yeah, take the uh, make sure you build your confidence. Just take the highest probability trades only, guys. Quality over quantity. But that's what I'll be looking on uh, on GU this week. I pull back into that area. One point two six five hundred ish. But uh, once again, get over to the free Telegram group, guys. That's it for GU.